Hey folks, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be going through a shorter video, but uh, a great little review of the top five reasons why I love my ARB awning. And uh, this video was basically inspired by you guys, the commenters, because a lot of you had questions around it. So figured I'd throw this together and uh, hopefully answer those questions. But if not, feel free to put more specific questions in the comments below. And if this is your first time to the channel, guys, please feel free to subscribe if you like it. There's more uh, Toyota Tacoma content on here, of course, so uh, check out those videos as well. All right, all that being said, let's get to it. All right, folks, so my first reason why I love having an ARB awning, but specifically just having an awning of, of any sort, is the fact that when you need it, it's there. And before I realized I needed one, I had an experience where I'd gone camping with the family. It was, you know, midsummer, crazy heat, and all the shade was taken by other campers. So guess what? We were left a uh, little miserable and um, definitely dealing with, um, not just the heat during the day, but also the crazy cold at night when we were trying to cook and stuff. So I prefer to, to be over-prepared. And so that is why I decided to get an awning as soon as possible. So the second reason why I love having this particular awning is because if you look at the size of this thing, like, I mean, look, it's really just about the width of the vehicle itself, not the length. To me, that's very important because most people will buy very, very long awnings and you know, they're kind of heavy and bulky and they do take up and remove a little bit of functionality out of the roof rack system because usually these things sit a little high and force you to not have the flatness of your roof rack. So what happens then is they have to only put them on when they're going on a trip. So now you got a storage issue. And two, and more importantly, what happens if you, you need it and you're just unprepared because you weren't planning on using it? That's what I didn't want. So I love that the size of this thing allows me to have it on full time and I don't even notice it's there. So for that reason and that reason alone, if nothing else, um, it's worth owning. The third reason why I love this awning is actually its ease of use. So check out what I mean by this. So basically you have a zipper right here, right? And this zipper just basically goes the length of this and once you unzip it, it just folds up and the awning can roll out. And you have, of course, the straightening bars in order to create rigidity in it, but it's just one zipper. I mean, it really is pretty intuitive and easy to understand. And I'm gonna demonstrate that now. folks so this leads me to reason number four 
And as you can see here, this is what it looks like all put together. And look, it's not super easy to do on your own. If you have help, it's a snap, right? You can get this done in like a minute. But reason number four is I love that it stays rigid. This thing, because of the way the bars work, um, I've had it in windy situations. I've had it in rainy situations. And this will stay rigid no matter what. And it doesn't catch on to the wind. So it's not going to like blow off or, or move around or anything like that. As long as you do it properly. Um, so I think that's a huge value add because I can depend on it. And uh, if you can't depend on your gear, then it's not really worth it. And the last reason why I love this awning is simply because of the cost. I mean, it's no surprise that overlanding gear is just getting more and more expensive in so many ways because... It is such a big draw these days. So many people, especially through this COVID stuff, are looking to be off the grid, are looking to go on adventures. They also want to socialize, but keep distance. So what a great hobby this is, but it means gear like this can get pricey quick. For less than 300 bucks all in, and I'll put some pricing below and I'll put um, some links where you can buy this stuff. Um, you know, ultimately it, you can't beat it because again, yes, you can get awnings cheaper, but they're gonna be heavier, they're gonna be longer and more bulky, and you gotta carry them around everywhere or store them somewhere. And it's even harder when you need it to put it on, you need a buddy to help you and like install it every time. This one, you set it once and forget it and you're good to go. So that is my final reason why I love this ARB awning. And before we wrap up guys, I do wanna show you how I mounted this. So as you can see, the back plate here uh, has these ridges where you can actually install hardware uh, which it doesn't come with by the way and uh, the way i installed this was on the actual roof rail here of my cab i bought this l mount uh, it's this piece right here it's actually this is still part of it here it's an l mount bracket and you can get this um, off of amazon i'll actually put the links in there for you guys like i said and basically you just get some hardware slide this on tighten it down here and then this will mount right up to your awning. And I mean, I, I installed it, I don't even know how long ago, maybe like a year and a half, two years ago now. And it is rock solid, hasn't moved at all. You don't feel it on the freeway. It doesn't make any noise. Um, just a perfect, perfect positioning in my book. Um, although you could mount it on the side if you really wanted to, depending on your rack. Um, but there you go. I hope that's helpful. Okay, folks, thank you again for joining on this video. I hope if you watched to the end here that uh, you got some value out of it. But uh, if there's any more questions, like I said, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next one.